So I've been on a kick lately of looking at breakups and one of the most popular questions I get is how to win a man back. That's understandable considering the kind of heartbreak and pain you go through when a relationship ends, right? But the number one thing you have to do to win him back is usually the last thing that any woman actually does. Today, I want to show you exactly what you should do and the number one way to win him back. Hey, it's Carlos Cavallo from DatingFire.com and DatingAdviceGuru.com. Welcome back to the Dating and Relationship Secrets You Need to Know. So I'm gonna give you the number one thing right away, but there's a catch here. You need to listen to this all the way through to the end or you're gonna miss the most important ingredients to make it work. You see, getting a man back is really a recipe. There's no magic wand out there that you can just tap him on the head with, okay? I know, if you felt disappointed, well, you should also check your reality because that's just not realistic, right? Deep down inside, you know it's never as simple as hypnotizing him back into your life. If it was, we'd have 150 million amateur hypnotist women in America today. So stick with me as I give you a more complete recipe for winning him back. So the first number one thing you need to do in order to win him back is this. Number one, let him go. Whoa, hang on, okay? If you just built up a massive crashing wave of disappointment there, hear me out. The first thing you have to do is to be able to let him go. You don't have to actually start finding new women for him to date or anything like that, not that you would. Let me explain. The number one thing women do wrong is that they tend to cling to a guy after he pushes away. This is the old push-pull dynamic. Most men don't want to break up right away. What they want is just a breather. And so they freak out and what do they do? They end up breaking up as a, really a bad way of doing it. They need time to collect their thoughts and check in with their heart. Men take much longer to understand and process their emotions than women do. You've probably experienced this one firsthand. So right off the bat, cut off your ties with him. If he doesn't feel like he has lost something, he's never really gonna appreciate you. Right now, time is your friend, right in this initial breakup period. The more time that he struggles to get you back, the better. It's just like having to date all over again. If you've ever gone through a breakup and gotten back together, you know what I mean, right? It feels like the relationship is almost brand new again. What is it that's there? It's an appreciation for what you almost lost. Gratitude wakes up love. Now, you've probably heard the old no contact rule before, am I right? Of course you have. And I'm betting it's the most difficult thing you've ever had to do. No break, the no contact rule me simply means you don't contact the guy for a certain period of time after there's been a break in the relationship. But here's the deal. Number one, if you don't have the self-control to back off and become hard to get with him again, you're gonna simply lose him for good. That's just a fact. Number two, if you cling to him, you will definitely scare him off. So you gotta find the power within yourself to stay in control of your emotional panic. Almost every woman I've ever talked to feels like she couldn't stand, she just absolutely couldn't stand the loss of her man. It, she couldn't tolerate it. Until she actually does and realizes that this is just weak thinking. Okay, now what's next? To pull this off, you're gonna need the support of your friends. Maybe your girlfriends or even your family. It's not like you have to tell them what's going on or anything. All you have to do is just lean on them a little bit more. Do more activities with your friends. Go get back out there socially. Go visit the family and reconnect if that's possible for you. Distraction is one of the best tools you have to keep your composure. Now the next thing is to remember that you're going through withdrawal. That's right, just like withdrawal from cigarettes or you know, drugs because all those love chemicals in your brain are drugs and they are addicting. And many of those hormones that are released in love are also released when you take drugs. So recognize that your mind is going to be compromised. Your emotions will be a little crazy. Do whatever you can to avoid directing your crazy at him, <laughs> okay? This is where you're gonna back, you gotta go back to the gym, get working out, maybe like a maniac, and that's gonna come in handy because it's gonna keep your focus distracted. Far better to go to the gym than to the cupboards for food, you know, and, and for things you shouldn't be eating, am I right? Hey, maybe you're in this situation right now. You're wondering, can I win him back? Is he acting cold or distant? Is he sending mixed signals? Is he maybe even falling out of love? 
find out if you can win him back in this short quiz. Go over here, go to datingfire.com forward slash win him back. That's datingfire.com forward slash win him back. Go check it out right now. All right, what's the next step? The next step is to exercise control. And what I mean is that you need to get your stuff together. You know what I mean, right? It's okay if you miss him, but do not fall apart and lose it in front of him. The more he thinks that you could just walk away from him in the relationship, the more he's going to go crazy wondering why. How do I know this? Well, take a moment right now. Think about the last guy that you broke up with. Who didn't seem to mind? Maybe you broke up with him and he just didn't seem like it mattered all that much to him. Didn't that just drive you crazy? I mean, the truth is that we do not function logically. So most of the questions that you're asking yourself are going to just make you a little bit crazier. You might feel like letting him go right now is somehow treachery. That's probably one of the most common things that women say is it feels like I'm betraying the relationship to let him go or that you might feel you've dishonored and disrespected the relationship you might have had with him. Nothing could be further from the truth because f acting like you are a psycho ex-girlfriend will definitely not work the way you think it will. All right, what's next? Review his faults and his shortcomings. This is another one of those steps that works like crazy, but you probably feel like you're a traitor to do this thing. The fact is that every single person in every single relationship can make a list about a mile long of their partner's shortcomings. Okay, maybe not a mile long, but there's a ton of things in there, right? The key to a successful relationship is that you are feeding each other enough healthy love that you don't need to worry about that list of shortcomings. Those problems and faults of his just don't bother you when you're getting enough of the big love. You know what I mean? When love starts leaving a relationship, all the little stuff starts showing up. The only thing that's stopping you from seeing it right now is you feel a little bit out of control. You're desperately reaching for a life preserver. Deep down inside, you know you can do fine without him. Which leads me to the next big thing you need to do. And the next thing is stop the fantasizing and those trips down memory lane. The first place most people go after a breakup is to go remembering all the good times. It's almost like they crave desperately a fix of the memories to keep the sadness away. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to push the fear of being alone and the sadness back with memories. Just relax. The next time you get yourself caught up thinking about him and you and all those past great experiences and times you shared, Go review the list of shortcomings and issues you had. It'll put you back in check. The next step is know the right time to reconnect with him and know exactly what to say to him when you do reconnect. This one is huge and women miss it all the time. They just wing it. I mean, you're eventually going to want to get back in contact with him so you can reestablish this connection. If you did all the steps I just talked about correctly, he's going to jump at the chance, but only if you know when to contact him and what to say to him. In the end, it's going to come down to this. Does he feel that love between you two? Does he feel like the interest can be won back again? Well, it can be won back again. You can re-spark the romance. There is a definite, very definite skill to making this happen. And you can learn it in just a couple of hours. Winning back a guy's attention and knowing how to keep it is one skill that many women never discover. There is a simple psychology to how men fall in love. And that same psychology is how you win his love back. Wherever you are right now, if you're ready to win him back, I can show you. First of all, go take my quiz here. Go to datingfire.com forward slash win him back. If he's lost attention on you or he's grown colder or he seems disinterested or distant, there is something you can do. Find out how. Go to datingfire.com forward slash win him back. Take the quiz. And real quick, before you run off to the next great Carlos video, do the big three. Number one, like and subscribe. Get this stuff every week. I make these videos. You might as well know when they come out. And that means number two, turn on notifications. Click whatever button is next to that subscribe button. Might be the one with the bell icon on it. So you can get notified when I release the next videos coming soon. And if you're already subscribed, please make sure you share these videos with somebody you know. I want you to spread the word about this information so women everywhere can start getting success. And number three, comment below. Did you agree with my tips? Is there more that you want? Do you have a question? Leave me a comment and I will see what I can do for you. Hey, don't forget, wait a few more seconds. I'm going to put another recommended video right here on this video for you to click. This is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.